My name is Jamie Verpasky and I live in Portland, Oregon. When I first moved to Oregon 12 years ago, I fell in love with the trees. The tall Douglas firs, the big leaf maples, the strong cedars. This city stays green all year, but climate change is threatening these amazing giants. To me, the smell of climate change is smoke. Last summer, severe drought and extreme winds fueled some of the most destructive wildfires in state history. Over a million acres burnt in our state alone, destroying both human and animal habitats. The smoke from these fires covered our state. Air quality was so bad that certain days it was beyond measurement. These ghost forests are left just bones for mile after mile. This year, we had a weather event in June called a heat dome and had three days in a row in the triple digits. Our usual June temperatures is in mid 70 degrees. Trees tried to survive by releasing up to 90% of their water through their leaves to try and cool off. This extended event resulted in dry and sun-scalded leaves and needles. Some may not survive, and trees suffering from heat stress could become dry fuel for wildfires. Currently, the bootleg wildfire in Southern Oregon has burnt over 400,000 acres, and the smoke from this fire has already reached the East Coast and we are early in the wildfire season, which seems to be getting worse each year. I feel sick at heart and frustrated that we seem to be accepting that this is a new normal. If I imagine what a better world would be like, I would like to live in a world where all humans have a positive relationship with the earth. We are all connected to our planet, but sometimes in our busy lives, we lose that connection. I want to show up in this better world where I am very aware of the natural resources that I am using, and I am thankful for what I do use. I want to think of ways to produce when I can or give back to the earth. The trees share their shade, oxygen, beauty, I want to give my efforts back to them to help them not only survive, but thrive. Thank you for listening to my climate story. I look forward to hearing yours.